This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. You are what you watch. Hello, my name is Harrington Watko. Welcome to our program. Our president has just returned from Canada and the United States in Illinois, telling the people, continue the programs and the reforms he has initiated and started. In other words, he's already campaigning for the next president, ideally from the Liberal Party and from what we know and what we've seen and read, obviously for maybe the ILG Mar Rojas. Well, I, while that is well and good, everyone has that prerogative, I started to ask myself, gee, continuing what? Reforms? Maybe you can help me understand the concept of the meaning reforms. Because I failed to see any. Mm, transportation, if I'm not mistaken, the whole department is uh, Gee, it's actually nowhere. It's complicated, the whole issues. It's into a quagmire of what we call repair. Now, when it comes to uh, Department of Trade and Industry, exactly what is it that we are all sustaining, sustainable with? What exactly are we all, what products do we have that we are all on our own? There are many other departments. And even in infrastructure, 12,000 kilometers of roads. If you see these roads, please advise me. Tell me exactly where they are. I, can't, I seem to fail to see a lot of the issues. Now, when it comes to the BBL, well, I am biased. I have a real problem, a real issue with the Bangsamoro basic law. Why it's that? Simply because the, the unconstitutionality of the whole proposal the law which should not be. Now, there are a lot of current events and issues that we have to face in this country. Now, let's look at exactly what we have in our country and what we can be proud of. We have the talent, definitely. We have the academe, definitely. But do we have the innovations? Do we have the specialized technologies that are required to bring the country forward to the 21st, 22nd century. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it is only from within the academe where we breed the scientists, the innovators, and these people that will make life better for the Filipino. And yet, it seems unlike other countries in Europe and America, where business, big business, provide funding into universities and the universities where you have the doctor, doctorate degree holders in, in the sciences do nothing but analyze and research to come out with new technology, if not for GMO, if not for vegetation, if not for industry, for whatever. What happens is we, have, we are lagging behind and we have no real, true, real innovations that we can be proud of. This is not only the problem of this administration, but it seems it goes back three, four, five decades. Why this has become, to help you understand the issues we are confronting, we have a guest with us. His name is Dr. Ted Mendoza, Doctor of Science from the Los Baños University of the Philippines, who not only teaches and professes a number of disciplines, be it in agriculture, being, in, being a specialist, but he actually practices this in his own backyard. I've seen, tasted, and taken in and fed myself with various vegetation that he actually practices. 
without pesticides, organic if that's what you wish to call it, but nevertheless, a practice, a discipline that actually works. Dr. Mendoza from the Los Banos University of the Philippines. Uh, salamat, Dr. Ted. Narito yes. ka It's been five, six years since I had you last. Yes. And the last <laughs> issue you were discussing that you actually pioneered or helped in the advocacy to promote was the writ of kalikasan, yung mga BT talong. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nasana po yan? Unahin natin, no? Nasa Supreme Court, alam ko eh. Yes, I think uh, nandun na po, pero wala pa po yatang nilalabas na desisyon. Baka pagtapos na ng desisyon ng Supreme Court, baka 2035 na, 2040, parang ganun katagal lumalabas. How difficult is it for lawyers to understand the work of science of people like yourself? Uh, kung sa layman ho naman kasi pwede namang isimplify lahat kasi. Bakit mo lalagyan ng lason ang pagkain? Yan ang basic na... Pero parang ba? napakahirap intindihin <laughs> ng mga abogado. Parang ganun po lumalabas. Kasi marami ho kasing interest ang involved doon eh. Okay? Uh, maraming naglalabi so on so forth. Uh, uh, both camps uh, have uh, excellent lawyers. And uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. So to add to the confusion, you let them fight it out. And everybody makes money. Meantime, the country and the people may suffer because yeah. of what is sustainable, what is not. Yes, yes. Maybe you can help explain G-E-R-D. Yan po ang topic natin. First, what it stands for. Yes, uh, uh, G stands for gross, E stands for expenses, R stands for research, and D for development. Gross expenses for research and development. So, kung ano ang gastos ng publiko, ng bayan, mm -hmm. gross expenses, vis-a-vis, -vis, correct? Research and development. And development. Uh -huh. So, kumbaga, innovation, Technologies that can be well, that can be improved. Yes, that can into be practical useful, terms. Yes. Magagamit natin. Magagamit natin. And then the gross expense ng bayan sa oh, napu. Yes. Oh. Now correct me if I'm wrong. I read your paper. You just came out with. Well, tell us quick, quickly about your paper. Actually, uh, ito pong uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation ko ito ay eh, eh, pang apat na grupo na ito. Eh. <laughs> Una pong uh, na present ko nung sa Bayleaf dun sa isang forum and then uh, among the Filipino Inventor Society and last time I had the phone pots in a radio interview at ito na nga ngayon. So, isa siyang advocacy na sana bigyan ng pansin itong uh, pananaliksik natin. Uh, Naalanarize na naman ng mga economists po natin ng investment sa R&D ay mataas ang rate of return uh, mm -hmm. yung mga economists sa uh, sa policy sa buong mundo po yan oh sa buong mundo no even in the in the Philippines no po and then uh, yung isang uh, philosopher researcher there si Blot sang sabi niya uh, as early as 1988 sinabi na niya ito we are entering a new aid new aids a knowledge based aids where innovation technology are necessary kaya in relation to what you have said a while ago uh, education is so important Okay. Kaya uh, yun ang dapat nating... But let's, let's qualify the meaning education is very important. Education is important for the DepEd and the CHED, for mm. the undergraduates and even postgraduates. Yes, yes. But education is even more important when it comes to research and development. Right. To bring about, if not amendments, proper tweaks to innovations yes. uh, picked up around the world, if not initiated and born in this country. Right. right? And only the people that do the study in the sciences can really promote this and push this right. to the further end. Opo. Diba? Opo. Parang ganon. Uh, kagaya po, uh, i-relate mo na yan sa science and technology where you're saying we, we produce innovation and technologies that can uh, uh, help solve uh, uh, some problems, uh, improve efficiency, improve productivity. Pero di po po tayo, meron tayong DOST, Department of Science and Technology. Is this inefficient? Uh, as a whole, ho, yun ang isang ano. Kasi ang, ang, ang science policy, technology policy natin kasi mag emerge sa national leadership. Uh, depende kasi kung anong magiging vision niya. Uh, as you, tayo on our age, alam natin, uh, uh, we are at the peak siguro, mga early 50s, 60s. 
Uh, next to Japan, ang sinasabi natin, uh, uh, Philippines mm -hmm. is the model country. And, This um, was uh, at the start of the Marcos regime? No, uh, during the time of uh, 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 Garcia. Uh, Garcia. Uh, uh, so it goes we back have, another decade. Yes, so uh, Filipino Yes. Filipino first. Uh, ang kaso, yung Filipino first policy ni ni Garcia noon where we started we start already building mm -hmm. our, our tools equipment uh, may nag start na rin tayo gumawa ng ating mga uh, makinari at that time mga simple machines no uh, na installed po yan napabayaan no uh, in favor no manalo nga si si Makapagal yun na ho ang simula ng debacle ng economic development natin so it's natin. Makapagal's fault President um, Makapagal. Makapagal. Yes, dos dado Makapagal. Yes, Kasi, yung tatay uh, ni GMA. Yes, hook, line, and sinker. Inadapt niya yung, yung World Bank IMF policy na debt for development. Where at that time, madami ho ang pera ng, ng World Bank. Kasi nga yung pag-boob ng, ng oil price noon. Mm -hmm. Nung magkaroon ng oil uh, crisis, peak tumaas. oil ang US, biglang tumaas noon. No? So marami silang ano. Kaya, uh, bakit ka pa mag industrialize No, mag-develop mag ka. Uh, ano? Plus, uh, this is also the product of uh, the so-called Washington Consensus na ang role ng Pilipinas being uh, a country which is rich in, in uh, natural uh, resources, uh, favorable soils uh, and climate for agriculture. Agriculture tayo, uh, tayo ang mag-supply ng raw materials and in turn, um, mag-import na lang tayo ng finished products. So, yun po ang naging uh, 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 development uh, 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 ano natin. But the dictates of the, uh, of the World Bank, mm -hmm. the dictates of the foreigners for mm -hmm. our future, has turned sour and incorrect over the decades. Yes. Because even in agriculture, it seems we have failed. Yes, yes. Both industry and both in mm -hmm. agriculture, we have failed. Yeah. Uh, dalawa ko kasi ano yan eh, dun sa sinasabi nating uh, uh, sa theory sa economics na comparative advantage. So kung wala kang comparative advantage sa production na yun, why, that, why not simply import? But it is also part of yung sinasabi nilang structural adjustment program na ang policy, uh, buksan mo ang yung economy sa importation, uh, why, why produce locally kung makaka-import ka naman ng mura, so on so forth. So, uh, to fast track it is yung uh, uh, nung pag, after nung post Marcos, nandiyan na yung globalization, no? itong got you are na ito, you are, uh, na-include ngayon yung, yung agriculture. Uh, dati yung dating uh, uh, uruga, uh, yung general agreement on tariff and trade natin, exempted ang, ang, ang agriculture, di ba? Uh, But uh, with got you are, nabuksan ngayon. Globalization. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, so, Pumasok na yung WTO, then nagkanya-kanya ng uh, uh, ano natin, dito sa Asia, meron tayong ASEAN Economic Co Cooperation. Uh, Mas lumalala. Uh, Oo, oh, baka. Well, uh, uh, wala namang, uh, on the surface, parang maganda nga yun eh, kasi bukas ang kalakalaan. Pero ang tanong nga ninyo, ano ngayon ang champion products natin na ikakalakal natin? You know, well, we what you're saying, is, it is not necessarily just graft and corruption. Which is yes. the common thought or yes. which is the public opinion. Yes. Ah, hindi, natalo tayo kasi noon, number two tayo si Japan, bumagsak tayo kasi mga politiko, graft and corruption. It's not just graft and corruption, hindi naman but po. it was poor legislation. Uh, ganun Negative na lang po. legislation yes. for the future. Uh, uh, may mga scholars nga ho na nanaliksik uh, yung impact ng, ng corruption. Sa ibang bansa, I will not name the country, no? Yung kanilang na-accumulate na pera, nire-reinvest nila sa kanilang bansa. Kaya... Ah, hindi sa Switzerland din nila o Hong Kong. <laughs> Ngayon, delikado na Hong Kong. Oh, Switzerland yun, lang yun, yun nga po. Kaya uh, sabi nila, may corruption, pero bakit nag-develop ang bansa nila? Ang basic reason doon, ang nakita nila, nire-reinvest pala yung kanilang kinikita. Kasi you need the scale eh. Di ba? You need a lot of money to, to enter into certain industrial venture. So kung maliit lang yung kita mo, maliit lang yung capital mo, at napakahirap naman mag-pull in ng capital na ilalagay mo yan sa stock market and so on and so forth. So, uh, cannot short nila yon, ha? Hindi lang ninakaw, nilabas pa ng bayan. Yung, yung nangyari kaya, dito yung sa kaya. atin. <laughs> uh, Dr. Rob Mendoza, yeah. we're gonna have to take a short break. Ladies and gentlemen, if you notice, the issue is not just stealing. It's not just, well, no, simple. It, it's, it's just poor country management in the last five, six, seven decades. And basically, legislation has helped 
evolve this negative development we are now experiencing. So I fail to see what it is that Pinoy is saying continuity. For what? What reforms? The circus that we have in the Senate, wherein now everyone's lobbying to be the next president or vice president? Or is it about where the country should be going? But then again, we voters are just as at fault because we like to vote, to vote and put back into power to sustain these oligarchies into power, which we call dynasties. These are monstrosities that continue to ruin this country. But to help you further understand that, stay with us. When we come back, we'll talk about some of the faults. Big business needs to start uh, correcting. We'll be right back.